Today I'm here to talk about and order you the khachapuri. Make sure you get that in there. That's right, the khachapuri is the traditional Georgian staple food and it's very popular not only on the streets but in restaurants all over the country. So I've already ordered it a few times here in Tbilisi but today I'm excited because I'm gonna try a new variation of it. They have all these different types with different fillings and different shapes. So today we're actually gonna try a boat shape. It would be something like the Georgian version of the pizza but it's actually much more than that. And it's also a food that carries lots of tradition in history. You're gonna hear all about that today. Okay, but first I feel like I need to do something. Okay, I feel much cleaner. Now we're gonna put in the order for the Khachapuri on Wolt, which is the app that I use for food deliveries here in Georgia. And it's pretty great because my Airbnb is on the ground level. So the guy shows up on his motorbike, I wave him down, and he delivers the food to me straight through the window, which is great in times of quarantine, am I right? I'm gonna go ahead and order some grilled vegetables as well. That comes out to about 270 in US dollars. I'm gonna unactivate the no contact delivery because I'm just gonna grab the food from the window. And do not forget to tip your delivery driver. Okay, we are set. Slide to confirm. I'm just gonna make some tea while we wait for the delivery. Okay, because we're waiting on the delivery, I want to give you a fun little fact about the khachapuri. It's such a national and traditional food here in Georgia that they actually measure the inflation by how much the ingredients of the khachapuri costs. And that's called the khachapuri index and it was created by a university here in Tbilisi actually. As I've already stated, there's many variations of this dish. Uh, the one I've ordered today is called the Ajaruli Khapachuri, which means that it comes in the shape of a boat. And inside that pastry boat, the filling is of butter, cheese, and egg yolk. Pretty, pretty tasty. And as soon as it gets here, I'm gonna explain to you why it's in the shape of a boat. Okay, the delivery guy is on his way and I only have about 25 minutes till I have to start working again and I have three back-to-back -back classes which is about an hour and a half. So I don't think I'm gonna have much time to eat this food right now and I am starving. I'm just gonna have some of the other dish that I ordered which is called khali. It's basically chopped and minced vegetables mixed with a pureed walnut sauce and you can get it in the spinach variety, which is what I did today. But other varieties include beans and also beetroot. Nothing beats the old window delivery, eh? No need to go outside. Okay, there is the kachapuri in all of its glory. You'll see that the filling inside with butter, cheese, and egg yolk is still pretty liquidy and delicious. Here we have the assorted khali, which is like spinach with walnuts and various vegetables. And the other order of grilled vegetables. I only have about like 10 minutes till my next class and I need to eat something. First I'm gonna try this spinach thing. There you have it. If there's one thing you must know about Georgian cuisine is that they put tons of cilantro in everything. So the pchali is actually a cold dish. I don't know what these little berries are that they put on lots of the food, but it really gives it a nice little sweet kick. Mm. It's so well seasoned. Cilantro-y. Okay, I'm gonna teach three classes and then I'll be back to eat and talk a little more about the hachapuri. Can you circle bright? Now let's circle dark. When do you feel hot? So is this summer or winter? I feel hot in summer. Okay, an hour and a half later and I am done with those three classes. Time to have some khachapuri. Let's head to the kitchen. I'm gonna use a little trick I learned to reheat things in the microwave with a big cup of water and that way the bread doesn't go all mushy. Okay, and while that is heating up, let me tell you the meaning of the word khachapuri. So khacha means curds and puri means bread. So obviously the word means bread of the Kurds of Kurdistan, which is a mountainous region here in Western Asia. All right, let's go check out how this thing turned out. Of course, you wouldn't want to eat this all the time because it's 
like a cholesterol bomb and you don't want to be having a heart attack. Okay guys, without further ado, it's time to try this thing. Oh yeah. So obviously I cut the piece of bread here and all the butter and cheese just flowed right out. It's said that you should eat the crust and just dip it inside. I won't be using my hands much today. Khachapuri is also some history. There's a group called the Lazi people that inhabit the coastal region of Georgia and Turkey. And the Khachapuri is said to be inspired by them who were sailors. So of course we have the boat being the bread, the filling is the sea, and the egg is the sun. Here I was just making my way through the boat, you know, and I got to the tip of the boat and I thought, well, maybe I won't eat it because it's just bread. And then I looked inside and it has cheese all inside. Look at that. Filling for days. Just imagine getting like a really thick pizza, dousing it in butter, putting some white Georgian cheese on top, something like a cottage cheese or something, but much more flavorful and cracking an egg on top. I mean, what can go wrong, really? I barely have time to eat. I have two more classes now, um, and then I will definitely be having an amazing dinner when all this is done. Can you read the question for me? The weather, how is the weather? It is sunny, that's right. It is sunny, yes, it is sunny. So for dinner, I will be having some of yesterday's leftovers, actually, which is a bit of a mixture of lots of cuisine, so hopefully you don't think that's too weird. So coming out of Asia, we got a vegan pad thai, which is delicious. Over here from Mexico, a vegan corn enchiladas with some creamy bean sauce. And straight from Georgia, the grilled vegetables that I ordered today, red peppers, mushrooms, and eggplant. If you found some value in this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be back next week with some more travel related videos because obviously I cannot be doing a lot of travel right now. Thank you so much for watching until the end gringos. I'm gonna go have my dinner. See you on the next one.